Hi, my name is Adriana Duran Leon, and I'm the owner of the flower company here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I'm going to be taking a moment to show you a brand new product from Fitz Designs and uh, how you can use it, how it'll save you some time, how it'll save you some money. So let me get my table set up and we'll get started. Okay, so this is the product that we're highlighting today from Fitz Design. It's called Fitz Delights, but they actually know it better as bracelets and bows. And they come packaged just like this. So what it is, when you get some, it's just that. It's a bracelet and a bow. So pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> but what I love so much about it, but check this out how it comes packed. These bows are not crushed. They ship these to me and look at that. It is not smashed, crushed, misshapen at all. So how awesome is that? This, they do cost a little bit more than if you were to just buy the bracelet, but I'll tell you what, you're gonna save yourself a lot in labor by buying it this way versus making the bow, attaching it to the bracelet, gluing your silk leaves to it, and it already comes just like that. That's all you have to do. Pull it out of the box and then you're gonna glue your stuff to it, which we will do here in just a second. But check these out, ask them for them, either Fitz Delights or bracelets and bows. And we're gonna do a fun little unique design here to help you stand out. I mean, just think of how much time this is gonna save you labor-wise, especially when you got hundreds of orders. All right, so we're gonna make a bracelet with the bracelets and bows. And again, I just really wanna say, like I can't stress enough like how much time and labor this will save you if you buy the bracelet that already has the bow attached. And again, look at that. Like this came in shipping and the bow looks perfect. And you don't have to go, you know, gobs and gobs of ribbon because we wanna showcase the flowers and the band. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. I've got my flowers cut here already. I've got some little white spray roses, some green kermits. Um, I really wanted a pop of pink, and so I did some pink petalettes. I've got pink wax flower. And then of course, you can't do a Fitz product without the Fitz bling. So we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna do groupings, um, because that just creates a bigger impact. So, you know, take your cold glue, this is how I do it. I always glue all my pieces, get the glue on there, and start letting it set, because you really want it tacky. It'll stick a lot better if it's tacky. So I just take a moment, glue them. I mean, there's, there's no rush. I mean, at some point, yes, it will dry. And these, what I do is I just roll, if you don't know how to make a petalette, you can always ask us and we will tell you. But that's how I get my petalettes in there is I just do tape it, wire it. It's a little bit of old school mixed with the new. Um, we're going to stop there for now. So, and remember when you glue, it's best to stick your glue part in, pull it out. That way there's glue on both the bow and the flower and then stick it back in the same place because it'll adhere a lot better. And we're just going to continue around and make our grouping because that creates more impact. And then our bling, I want to show you a trick with this. When you work with these, because this cold glue doesn't really work too well with wire, just plain wire. So I curl up the end, I cut it, and I make like a little loop there as you can see it. And then I basically Fill that loop with glue because now when it dries in that loop, it's really going to hold it together and you don't have to worry about it slipping out afterwards, like when the kid's at the dance and, oh my gosh, her bling goes flying across the room. That would be awful. <laughs> so that's a way to help anchor it into the corsage so it doesn't fly out. But I mean, even just look at that. Look how more impactful that is. You know, it's not sure regular all spray rose corsage. The labor's already done with the ribbon. My goodness, like how awesome is that? You don't even have to worry about that. I'm gonna tuck both bling in over on the same side because you know we've got the grouping going on so I wanna make that consistent with all parts. And I wanna add one more fun piece. So I'm gonna 
pause for a second, make some pieces, and then I'll show you what I did just to make it set it that much apart from your competition. Okay, so I made this little lily grass loop because I wanna just add, I always like adding fun little extra elements into my corsages. So what I've done is take a, a piece of lily grass and I've taken a U-glue dash and I cut it in half. And if you don't remember how to cut that in half properly without gumming up your scissors, all you do is dip the end of your scissors in water and it'll give you a clean cut on this and then your scissors don't get all gummy and gross, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> So I did this twice, so I stuck one in, rolled it around, but I wanna get that second loop, so I put it right on top of where I just glued before. Peel it off, roll it, make sure you got a loop. Stick it down, and now we've got two Cutter loops. glue. All right, so I wanna draw my eye through with the green there. So I put it in, pulled it out, that way the glue would make sure it would adhere. And then the same thing right here. So you stick it in, pull it out right away, and then put it right back where you pulled it out. That way it sticks to that glue. Check it out. And that just saved you a ton of time. You didn't have to sit here and watch me make a bow and then attach it and then glue my leaves. It's amazing. So be sure you ask for bracelets and bows from Fitz Designs. Saves you a lot of labor and insist on Fitz Designs in your shop. They really are always coming out with new ideas and new products to help make your life easier, save you money, which also makes you more money. So how can you go wrong with that? So here's a close up of our corsage where we took the green, we drew it through to the other side to be sure the eye draws through. We added some bling to our little interesting element because every kid's gonna walk up to this girl now and go, what is that? Oh my goodness. And then bling. My husband says, um, I'm like a fish. I'm drawn to sparkly things. And I think that's probably true of most girls. <laughs> we got our petalettes. And then the bracelet. Easy to remember. If you can't remember Fitz Delights when you call, just say, hey, I want that bracelet and a bow. Easy enough, right? Bracelet, bow. Sweet. I want to give you one more quick tip in regards to preparing for prom. So as you're putting together all your corsages, I highly suggest, once you think that glue is dry, I want you to take it by the band and give it a good shake to the floor. Like, don't hit the floor with it, but just shake it. And make sure nothing flies off of that thing because you don't want to be one of those horror stories that we've all heard or if you've had the unfortunate experience of experiencing it where the angry parent comes in so upset that their kid's corsage fell apart. Do it, even if it's in front of the customer. I've done that and they're like, what are you doing? And I tell them, I don't want this falling apart on your kid's date. I'd rather it fall apart here and I fix it and make sure it's good. So do it. You may look like the crazy florist, but wouldn't you rather do that than have them angry in your store later? So it'll save you. It saved me probably about four times in the last couple of years. So give it a shot. You'll be glad you did.